Hello, I'm going to speak to you about thing or two. So we have a problem. Our scientific papers, the data is really not persistent. It's hard to understand. Um, and frankly, sometimes it's difficult to find. So as a community, we need to change things. We need to make things better. We need our data to be really well understood. We need others to be able to understand it from other domains. And that's pretty important. So I also believe that your data needs to be open. That not only your data, but also the documentation you have about your data. Being open allows it to be findable and accessible. It also needs to be fair. And what I mean by fair is findable, accessible, interoperable, and reusable, right? Have you seen my stickers yet? <laughs> so this is from Force 11. We got permission to make the sticker. Yes, we did. And uh, we, are, we are trying to target uh, improving these elements within the data for Earth and Space Sciences. But like Lynn Yarman says, you can't get past the F sometimes. So what's important here is that take, for instance, if you just have title and author and persistent identifier, we are not consistent across our ecosystem. So listen, I want to tell you. So ADU has won this grant. I know, awesome. So from the Laura and John Arnold Foundation, thank you if you're out there. Um, and this is combining the work of the journals with the work of the repositories to make data open. Data is hard to find. Sometimes you don't know what you're looking at. And with this grant, we're going to try to figure out how to have standard method across all journals, not just ADU, but all Earth and Space Science journals connecting to repositories. Data should be in a repository. The data should have a data citation. There should be a landing page and a persistent identifier. Are you with me on this? Thank you. So this project, the project's short, 18 months, it's already started. So the working groups are busy right now, and we really want you to join us. Right now they're trying to figure out what elements to adopt, things that you've already done and are ready for implementation, and things that are gaps. We're now trying to find the gaps. So we've got several groups, and you're welcome to join them. As a matter of fact, I'd really like you to. So if you haven't had an invitation yet, you can consider this conversation part of that, that invite, inviting. What we need is you to put your heads together, share with us exactly what you have going on that might be beneficial to this project. We really want your involvement, and this is me asking you to give us a hand. So we have, um, and here's your invitation, in case you needed a sign, there it is right there. And, uh, so we want to take a look at the EOC email today, which has the update on the Earth on the Enabling Fair Data Project. And you'll, you'll be able to read and see all the links for how to get involved. We know this is a culture change. We know we're going to need incentives. So that's going to include everyone within the ecosystem. It's going to include the journals. It's going to include societies. It's going to include all the, all the folks within funding. But there's also something else we know. We can't do it all at once. We're going to take baby steps. We're going to put in a good enough solution. And this is, and once the grant is over, the whole thing is owned by the community. That means you. So we need to be able to build this up and take an iterative approach. Do you feel dizzy? Do you feel like you've been hit from the side? Get involved. Go look up that EOS article. It's going to be that it's going to have my name. It's going to have all the steering committee names. And you'll be able to find out what's going on. I want you to do this. I want you to be involved so that you're absolutely able to not put your hands over your eyes and say to your peers, I know what's going on. Shelly told me at Ignite, and I want to get involved. Now, that might mean, and I'm glad you're listening, that might mean that you are just paying attention and get on the email list so that you can share it with others and say, hey, this is what's going on. You may not be able to be active on the team, but frankly, you can, and I'm inviting you to. And that would be fantastic. Now, here's where you need to say a little prayer, because you know that culture change is really hard. But we're going to try. And we're actually going to make as much progress as we can on this first iteration and get the momentum heading in this direction. Think about it. Every journal, Elsevier, PLOS, Nature, Science, they're all in. They showed up at the meeting. And we want you to be part of it, too. So this is your opportunity to become part of the crowd. Join in. Your voice needs to be heard because, frankly, you're important. 
and this is your opportunity. Put your hand up, maybe your paw, and you can join us as well. And I'd love to, you can reach out to Lynn Yarmy, who's sitting in the front row, or you can talk to me, or you can email, or you can get on the web and do your magic, but get involved.